are you? Where is you body? are an abomination, a crucified figure blazing with sauce. You hear screams, and then the scent of charred flesh. Who's there? I, I can hear you. Captain, is that you? Captain, is that you? Where is it? The young magistrate tenderly fingers two fresh gashes across his eyes and face. His fingertips hesitate over his closed eyelids. He's being blinded. At your approach, he spins to face you and readies his shield. Stop! Stop! Who, who goes there? He raises his sword. State your name! Now! Beards! I don't, I don't know any beard. Tell me the truth. Who are you? I don't believe that for a second. You're a prisoner, aren't you? Hold still. I need to apprehend you. He sidles blindly beside the cart, groping his way toward you. I can't let you go! It's my job! It's why I'm here! Don't you understand? You're so dangerous! It isn't your fault, but you are! If you leave this place, you could bring a Void Woken on your head at any time! He <sighs> continues to grope toward you, his sword clenched tightly in his hand. He opens his eyes a fraction of an inch and winces, stumbling over a rock stuck in the mud. No! No! Don't try anything! Do you hear? Uh, undead! They overturned the cart, dragged us out. They... They wanted to rip us apart. We beat them back, but... But they got Faray through the heart, got me across the face. Landin went back to the fort to bring help. I have a job here. I might be injured, but I'm still a good guard. Now, hold still. He pulls a pair of shackles out of his bag and holds them out, open toward you. Nothing. Understand? Stay away. Please, don't make this any harder. You're dangerous. I need to keep you safe. I need to keep everyone else safe. Have you seen a Void Woken? Have you? They come in the night. They come by morning. They, they kill everyone. I've seen it. I won't let it happen again. Hold still. Please. Please! Oh, come here!
Read the reaper for me. Such barbarism. What happened here? An old elf's pained gaze passes between the crucified. He seems on the brink of tears. Dear ones, not like this, not like this, not like this. They're as good as my family, but I cannot heal them, I cannot heal them. 
so much pain. They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They won't be moved and they can't be healed. They resisted at all costs. They can't even be healed. Using such magic on them would kill them now. Such beautiful souls, corrupted by such evil. Where you find Shriekers, you can trust the Divine Order is hiding something they desperately want to keep private. Fate of my dear ones proves there must be some such thing on this very island. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. Rubbish. The seeker whimpers incoherently. You thought you'd already seen the full depths of Magister cruelty. There's nothing to be done. Let's keep moving. A blade through the heart would be a kindness to these lost souls. The merciful thing would be to hasten their journey to the Hall of Echoes. The Divine Order knows no mercy. It deserves none in return. A quick death would be a blessing to these unfortunates. Magisters didn't spare a single seeker. again.
What's this? I found something. The young man has abandoned the maps and now prepares his armor with happy urgency. He sees you approach. I told you, lads, we had no in no time.
is peaceful here, but I'll not be sorry to see the back of these swamps. Thank you for finding Gareth, stranger. I owe you. We all do. I just hope he's found what we need to get past the Magisters. Then we might actually have a chance at surviving this. Now with Sir Gareth back to lead us, and if I know him, he must have found those source weapons, we might actually have a chance at surviving this. It's peaceful here, but I'll not be sorry to see the back of these swamps. Gareth is back! Gareth is safe! I pray you see them safe. I pray this in your name. She throws her arms around you in a tight embrace. Thank you, thank you. You're so good, so kind. She smiles and hugs you again. What a beautiful day. What a happy day. <laughs> My thanks, friend. I can't remember the last time I've seen her smile like that. If there's anything we can do for you, you have only to ask. Well, know that you have my deepest thanks. And mine. Mine too. Thank you. Divine blessings upon you. I pray you will strengthen Is their you see? and set their back. He's here to take us home. Oh, you gave me a How can I help you? Goodbye. I didn't think I survived those wounds, yet here I am. It's a miracle. I know Gareth's return to us as well. My Lucian's locked. Stop fidgeting, lad. Keep your chin up, kid. Chin up. He works fast, checking weapons to see if they're battle ready. He thumbs the edge of a blade. It draws blood. He grins. Blessed Grant these soldiers your protection. I pray you will strengthen their strength and set their blades at blaze. I pray you will bless their armor so no curse may pass. I pray you see them safe. I pray this in your name. Blade is thirsty. Now, what can I do to thank you for saving Sir Gareth? Fancy a weapons upgrade? We don't have much, but you're welcome to what's here. Nice doing business with you. I wish I had better wares to offer. This one might serve, but not for long.
Get those weapons into shape. We'll need them. As you command. I can make this work. Maybe. This may do some damage before it breaks forever. He looks up from his work and grins. Help you? So no curse may pass it. I pray you see them by our Mahdiya's grace. What did you do? Divine blessings. It's good to see Gareth safe and sound. This is incredible. In all my years, I've never seen the goddess bestow her blessing on someone. I am humbled to be in your presence. Truly, we are blessed to know you. If Armadia favors you, that is all I need to know. Go in peace, brother. The Seeker. I am happy to see that he survived the swamps. But I am filled with dread at what he might do. He cannot hope to hold against the Magisters while their crucified weapons stand. And Armadia help the Seekers if they were to meet a Void Woken. Armadia has not gifted me the grace to heal, nor the strength to fight. There is nothing more I can do. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps there is another path. I told the Seeker that the soul-forged weapons of Bracchus Rex remain hidden in a vault, but the Magisters recovered them before he could. Gareth failed to reach the armory in time. But there is another vault hidden beyond the Magisters' guile. If you can steal away these weapons, your friends may well stand a chance. But beware, such items are of limited power. If they cease to function, speak to me. I will be able to help. What? You have uncovered Bracchus's hoard. Tell me, did you find anything else? The vault contains relics, soul jars. Did you see them? Do you have them? Questions? There is no time for questions. Just give me the jars. You don't understand. You couldn't understand. Please, I need it. Please give it to me. Hiding. Impatient. 
She reaches up and tears off her mask, revealing a wet skull, stained by centuries. You stare into the empty eye sockets of the undead creature before you. You dare speak to me of hiding? You dare speak to me of patience? I have waited centuries, watching lives come and go while my soul lies locked in a cage. I have been patient enough. Return to me what is mine. Return my soul, you insolent pup! She reaches greedily for the jar, tearing the cap off. You see a green glowing light emerge from the jar, enveloping Gratiana. By Armadia, I feel... I feel... wet. Oh, Goddess, I can feel your tears upon my face. I... I suppose you deserve to know. Before I knew Armadia's grace, I was a very different person. I was the concubine of Bracchus Rex, but more than his lover. I was his partner. I discovered his power to feed on the source of others, and I allowed it to... No, I made it happen. You don't understand. No one understands. My heart held such fear. But with Bracchus, I was safe. He needed me, and I needed him. As his strength grew, so too did mine. There is nothing you cannot do when you sit on the lap of a powerful king. And I did it all. But power changes a man as he changes his nation. Bracchus grew paranoid, angry, murderous. Armadia, forgive me. It's true. As he grew distant, I just pushed harder. I gave him more and more, trying to win him back to me. I offered him the source of whole villages. He devoured them and demanded more. The lands outside were once green and beautiful, until I came, until I turned them over to him. Now all's poison and the dead are restless. Armadia is merciful in her love. I found this shrine while hunting a band of wizards. I found the goddess weeping for her children, and I wept too. She pauses for a moment. If she had eyes, you're sure she'd be wiping them. Through Armadia, I saw my sins, and I could bear it no longer. I threw myself from the cliff at the entrance. I tried to rid the world of my evil. But Bracchus would not allow it. He brought me back from the Hall of Echoes, locked my soul away, and demanded my obedience. Even in death, he commanded me. Only when two source hunters ended his curse was I free. Since then, I have returned here and spent centuries trying to heal the pain I've caused. And now... She drops the now empty soul jar to the ground, smashing it to pieces with her foot. You have my thanks, brother. She starts to speak, but chokes back a sob instead. Thank you. I don't... I can't... I've never known such kindness. Thank you for everything. May you walk forever in Armadia's grace. Divine blessings. It's good to see Gareth safe and sound. Did you see? Gareth's back. He's here to take us home. Blessed Armadia. 
Grant these soldiers your protection. I pray you will strengthen their spells and set know. their blades aflame. Good to see you. We were I pray you we will bless so their afraid. armor so no curse may pass it. I pray you see them safe. You've I pray this in your Give name. It's peaceful here, but I'll not My be sorry to see the so back of these swamps. We appreciate your hospitality, esteemed Gratiana. I serve Armadia's will and her children. Divine blessings. It's good to see Gareth safe and sound. Blessed Armadia, grant these soldiers your protection. Make the blades sharp and I true. pray you will strengthen their Fighter. spells and set their blades aflame. I pray you will bless their armor so no curse may pass it. I pray you see them safe. I pray this in your name. Did you see? Gareth's back. He's here to take us home. I told you, lads. We had room in no time. Blessed Armadia, grant me The proud man has returned, but yours is the pride, is it not? All in this sanctuary rejoice to have Sir Gareth back. But yours is the glory. Good. You did well. These Seekers were blind without their leader, but you returned their one-eyed king. He is a good man. He will try to do well. But you, I think, will be the one to make the true difference. My knowledge is but a pond. Gratiana's is the sea. It is the sea you should speak to. Haunted quagmires is what they are, and what is mired in them is madness. Bracchus Rex. He went too far. Source was never meant to be harnessed in weaponry. May Amadia curse his soul for turning creation into destruction.
I pray you will strengthen their spells and set their blades aflame. I pray you will bless their honor so no curse may pass. I pray you see them soon. I pray this in your name. Get those weapons into shape. We'll need them. As you wish. This may serve. I pray you will... This may serve. Oh, I think I dodged the Hall of Echoes there. You're in luck, Sorcerer. Gareth's back. And he's going to get us out of here. All of us. Gareth's returned to us. Maybe we'll be able to get out of here alive after all.
those magisters are gonna regret they didn't finish me off. I swear it. I didn't think I survived those wounds, yet here I am. It's a miracle. And now Gareth's returned to us. Welcome, my friend. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts. I'm, I could stand for a while there. I'll hear you. And one foot and both particulars of all of that goes. I know you seek answers. I'll tell you what I can. You have spoken to a god? Gareth stares intently, not so much at you as through you. Yes, I see something there. But it's not for me to say. I must get you to Malady. She will know. She was imprisoned on the Lady Vengeance, one of the few of us not left to rot on the sand and sun. All the more vital we take the ship from the Magisters. Godwoken. We'd just landed on shore. Minutes later, Dallas sailed in on the Lady Vengeance, screaming like a banshee. We had no hope. Most of us were dead in the blink of an eye. She had horrors at her side. Shriekers, they call them. They still protect the harbor, firing pure death at anything that catches their eyes. The Lady Vengeance is still anchored there, too. Lucian, save us from whatever plot Dallas is concocting on it. Well, I had a plan. Gratiana told me of weapons that could counter these shriekers. Purging ones that steal source from its host. I went to that armory looking for one of these wands, but Alexander's bootlickers stumbled in first. I found nothing but dust and blood. We've got to find a way to silence those shriekers. If we do that, the Lady Vengeance is ours. Freedom is ours. You do? But that's incredible. I can only imagine what ghoul-ridden depths you braved to find one. I had no doubt. You bring me hope, sorcerer. I'll gather the other seekers and travel to shore. Meet us there as soon as you can. Gareth's voice echoes throughout the Enclave with such command, it could rouse a fawn to action. We move, Seekers. Now is the time to resist. The Lady Vengeance will be ours!
nobody's home. Others have gone to get us a ship out of here. Need supplies? Be quick about it, little wolf. My errands are more important than trade.
The stone gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins. You are not Bracchus Rex.